Florida Research Ensemble has found a way to introduce critical thinking into the many pleasures of Florida tourism. Monuments have always been an important destination for tourists. They play a very important role in the kind of mourning function that creates a collective identity for a people. Monuments are very much like the memories that individuals have of beloved parents or grandparents that gives a person such a great sense of personal identity. Tourists play a very important role, then, in the creation and invention of national identity. Tourists are very much to this sense of well-being what, say, bees are to flowers in the ecology of nature. In the same way that bees produce a kind of pollination and honey, the tourists produce the honey of American national identity. One of the best examples of this invention process is Mount Rushmore. The idea first occurred to the state historian of South Dakota while he was trying to figure out how to attract more tourists to his beloved Black Hills. He heard about a memorial being carved on the face of Stone Mountain in Georgia. And he realized that the granite cliffs of South Dakota provided a very fine place for giant statues. Well, once Rushmore was did indeed attract many tourists to the Black Hills. But in addition, it was appropriated by the American people to become an emblem of our American national identity. Florida Research Ensemble proposed that a monument be built at an ancient sinkhole just outside Gainesville, Florida. We felt that this sinkhole with its unstable geology was very representative of American national identity in a post-colonial era, in the same sort of way that the granite cliffs of South Dakota represented our sense of identity in a pre-World War II era. We felt that we could not take America for granted any longer. The limestone geology of Florida got its name karst topography from a region of the former Yugoslavia, the region that is now beset with wars of ethnic cleansing. These wars remind us, in relationship to our own topography, the stability of a national identity. Similarly, we're thinking about the history of Atlantis, because it is now believed that Atlantis, that once mighty empire, fell into a vast sinkhole and disappeared forever. The same fate might await our own nation. Well, the Millhopper site could remind tourists of these very grave possibilities. We felt that the tourist had to learn to recognize that their role was like that of the poet, say the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Now, Coleridge read Bartram's Travels, which is an account of his visit to the Gainesville region. And this helped Coleridge imagine what it was like to be in Gainesville, Florida. In Kubla, in Xanadu did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Elf, the sacred river, ran through caverns measureless to man, down to a sunless sea. And from this chasm with ceaseless turmoil seething, as if this earth in fast thick pants were breathing, a mighty fountain momently was forced, amid whose swift half intermitted burst huge fragments vaulted like rebounding hail or chaffy grain beneath the thresher's flail. And mid these dancing rocks at once and ever, it flung up momently the sacred river. And mid this tumult, Kubla heard from far ancestral voices prophesying war.
With electronic rush possible to have a new kind of monumentality, not like the old monumentality of the Dakota Rushmore, in which the four founding fathers became a kind of superego figure for everyone who saw it. The new Rushmore can be as diverse as America itself. The monument works like this. A tourist comes to the site, fills out a questionnaire, which identifies their, uh, the figures that they most identify with. This is very much like the experience uh, of Nancy Burson, who developed a uh, software in which she uh, helped people make composite photographs. She showed how this worked with uh, the, the composite photographs of the most popular uh, film stars of the 1940s and of the 1980s. Uh, and in, in showing the contrast between these two eras, we saw how our ideal of beauty had changed. Well, when I tested this on myself, I found that my superego figure consisted of my father, Walt Ulmer, General Custer, Jacques Derrida, the philosopher, and Gary Cooper, the film star. And so my personal superego projected out over the sinkhole would be that of these four figures. Well, my ideology is patriarchal, reflecting the era in which I grew up. But the new Rushmore will show a multicultural face to the world and help people recognize the role that tourists play in inventing this ongoing process, inventing American national identity for the future.